We have finally moved Cheech and Chong to their new massive giant outdoor habitat. This is Cheech and Chong's brand new habitat that we've been constructing. You guys can see the house right here and it's incredible. So let's let them out right now in three, two, one. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and this right here is Theo Jr., my capucha monkey. Theo, you wanna say hello to the camera? Would you like to say hello to everyone? Theo's saying hi. Now, if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that we have finally moved Cheech and Chong, my two African servals, to their new massive giant outdoor habitat that I've been constructing for the past several weeks. As you know, Cheech and Chong, they've actually been living here off an enclosure off my house, but I've been working on this big enclosure because they're getting big and they need to go outside. So guys, I filmed pretty much the whole process of us building the enclosure, everything that we've done. I can't wait to share with all of you guys. So if you wanna see this new giant enclosure for my exotic cats, you wanna see me move Cheech and Chong to their new enclosure, well guys, you are in the right place and well, we're gonna hop right into that. All right, guys, you saw Cheech and Chong, you saw China, and now I'm gonna show you this enclosure here. So this is Cheech and Chong's brand new habitat that we've been constructing since about last week. So we got Gabe on the inside working on the house. We got Miles here helping out as well. And these guys are gonna be the new residents in here. You got Miles, Gabe, how do you like the new, uh, the new enclosure? I'm moving in. You're moving in? Yeah, I like it. I love it awesome, actually. Awesome, awesome. So we got the enclosure here. So let's go inside and show you guys because Cheech and Chong, you guys know their story. They were surrendered to me, but I'm so excited to give them the proper home that they deserve, which is this giant habitat, which is incredible for them. There's gonna be tons of enrichment in there for them. We're making a, actually a little house for them. So guys, let's go in and check it out. So we're about to go in and we have our double door entry here, our lockout. So let's kind of just walk on through. Um, we're gonna be adding grass and all kinds of stuff. There's gonna be a platform here, but we already have this massive platform up here, which is eight foot by eight foot. And this is Cheech and Chong's new little house up here. So we got Miles and Gabe on duty here, helping out working. Gabe, do you think the cats are gonna like this house? Absolutely. Miles, what do you think, bro? I think they're gonna love it. I think they're gonna love it. So you guys can see the house right here and it's incredible. So the house is about four by four and we wanted to give it this cool log cabin look. So we put this on the outside of it. And Miles, wait, let's get this. Let's see what we're doing here. Miles, on in. Nice, bro. Looking good. We're going in over here, bro. We're in. just putting the nails in the hole. We're putting the screws on in. Let's see this Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, One, whoa, whoa. two. Okay, so we're using these flat deck boards for the roof. Guys, this is gonna be amazing. Here, you wanna screw one in? All right, I mean, yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna screw one of the screws in for you guys to see right here. Let's go on right here. So basically we're getting the boards on in and we're using stainless steel deck screws. You guys are always asking me to show the tutorials of how we do this, so now you're getting it, guys. We got one screw, do we have another? Oh wait, we got a whole bunch here. We got a whole bunch right here and let's get this one in. There you have it guys, that's how you do it. You guys see the enclosure, you see the incredible house that Cheech and Chong are gonna be getting. Now, we're gonna be putting a tiki roof over this whole section right here. So this is gonna be completely covered from the elements, no rain, no sun, so the cats will be able to cool off in this enclosure. But guys, what I need you to do right now is I need you all to comment down below, are Cheech and Chong going to like their new habitat? I think they're gonna absolutely love it, but again, I want you guys to let me know what you think down below. Miles, what do you think? You think? I honestly think they're gonna love it. I would live there if it was big enough for me. You would? Yeah, I think yeah, we should I mean, build one for me on top. I think we should, because look at this. this. This is gonna be plenty of space for these cats. We're gonna be doing, again, another little platform here, but honestly, this is just so cool. It just came out even better than I could have imagined. All right, guys, so it's been a few days, and in the few days, we have had some insane progress on the new enclosure. As you guys can see, we've come a long way. We actually have our tiki roof up right now, so just like many of the enclosures, there's a full tiki hut leaf roof, which is gonna protect the animals from the heat as well as the rain, a nice area where the cats can get up high and escape the sun. And then we also have our lockout area for the cats. This is where the cats are going to go when it's time for feeding. And then we have our double door entry. So we actually have all welded galvanized steel doors. So as you can see, we're real deal over here. We've got these incredible steel doors that we've been welding for the past few days. So we're just gonna go on in and I'm gonna give you guys a little more of an update on what we got going on here. Don't wanna forget to close that. So we've got that and we're gonna come on in. Now we have a nice platform here in the corner. So this is a nice log platform for the cats. 
So you guys have seen the enclosure, but we have a couple more things that we have to do before we can move the cats in here. So we gotta put this wire paneling up here. We've gotta put this wood on top of the deck, and we also are gonna be doing a really cool scratching post for the cats. So as you can see that we have this post right here, so I'm actually gonna be wrapping this all the way up with rope to create an incredible scratching post for the cats. So guys, without further ado, we're gonna jump into this time lapse and we're gonna get this deck done because once this deck is done, we can move these cats in. What follows is a brief construction montage. Okay, the cage is complete, so we just finished this deck right here, and not only did we put this lower deck in, but I also put in this deck over here with a jump platform up to the main platform. Um, we have a nice, big, clean water trough, so that way the cats always have access to clean water. Having fresh, clean water is one way that you can ensure that your cats stay happy and healthy. So I am just so happy with how this turned out. Look at this. You can see they have their cabin over here. So I put the scratching rope up here so the cats could have natural enrichment so they can come up here. They can file their claws down on this thick, coarse rope. I think they're gonna love it. We also have the serval den behind us, which is nice and elevated about, uh, we're five feet off of the ground. But luckily for these cats, they're the best jumping cats in the world. So guys, there is only one thing left to do now. The enclosure is done now. We could add a little more mulch tomorrow, but overall we mulched it. We have this platform. We have this awesome corner platform. We really mulched it out a bunch. I mean, it's looking incredible. So now the last step of all, I'm gonna go head inside. We're gonna get Cheech and Chong in their crates and finally bring them to their new home. Oh, there they are, my boys. Cheech, Chong, you guys. We're going to your new home. So we got Cheech here and Chong. For those of you that are new here, these are my servals. This is where they've been living, actually, off of my house. They've had this awesome habitat while they were young and weak because, um, as you guys know, these guys were surrendered to me. Someone bought them thinking they were Savannah cats, which, again, servals, not pets. Don't recommend them. Um, I'm actually fully licensed by the state of Florida to own these animals. So they've had a great life in here, but guys, it's time to take them to their new home. I'm so excited. So guys, let's get them in the crate. So we gotta pull this crate forward right now. We got my dad helping out. So we're gonna pull the crate forward here and we're just gonna open it on up. Now, I'm gonna see how I can get them. Hey, Chong man, hey, I need you to go in the crate, sir. Come on, sir. Chong is, is trained to go in the crate. Thank you, Chong man. Now, Cheeto, hey, I know you think something's up, but we have to go. Okay, sir? Please? Okay, let's go. Oh, Ch okay. That didn't work. All right, here they are. Cheech and Chong are in their transport crate. So the last step of all, me and my dad, we're going to go carry this crate over to their new home and finally release him. Guys, thank you so much for your support. Without your support, this would not be possible. So, Dad? Yeah. Dad, let's go. One minute, 37 seconds later. So we made it out to the new enclosure with Cheech and Chong, and now it's time to let them in. So as you can see, we've got Cheech and Chong inside here, and this is the moment all of you guys have been waiting for, so let's let them out right now in three, two, one. And that's not the response I wanted, but this is what I figured. Oh, here comes Chong Man. So Chong is out in his nice big enclosure right now. He doesn't know what to think. And Cheech is also a little bit shy. So to finally see these cats inside of this enclosure, man, it's incredible. So as you can see, we've got, oh, there goes Cheech. So Cheech is going here to explore. Where are you going, Cheech? So they actually look really small in this enclosure, but again, really cool and amazing to see them finally in here. So we did this deck, we've got the water. Hey, come on, Cheech, come here, man. Come this way, come over here. Yeah, boy. Guys, this is so cool to see him in here. I think Cheech is going up, and whoop, there he goes, up in his new deck. He wasted no time to get up here to check it out. So what these cats are gonna do now, since this is a new environment, is they're gonna check every square inch of this new new habitat. He just went in his house. They're gonna spend the next couple days um, exploring it, getting to know it, and making it their own. So I'm so excited to see him up in here. Cheech, what do you think, man? So 
Guys, Cheech and Chong are in their new homes. Thank you guys so much for all the support because without your guys' support, none of this would be possible. So thank you guys for watching. And that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, finally moving Cheech and Chong to their dream habitat. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. If it wasn't uh, for your guys' support, none of this would be possible. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you think Cheech and Chong are gonna like their new habitat. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you wanna see more of these incredible builds, you wanna see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well guys, all you gotta do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.